In this video, I make a TV and storage unit similar to my own for my parents. I started by removing the old wall mounted shelves. The storage will span the width of the room providing shelves in the middle and cupboard storage to the sides. The construction of this project is very similar to the one I built for myself in a previous video with a few adjustments where things didn't go quite how I wanted. Here you can see the pieces laid out over four plywood sheets and the cuts that were required. I started by marking out the positions of holes for the screws before drilling them and then screwing the pieces together. Because of the width of the room, I designed the storage elements on the sides to be constructed as separate parts to the central part so that the pieces could all be cut from standard sized plywood boards and transported back to the house. I also countersunk all of the holes so that the screws would be seated well below the surface, leaving an area for wood filler to cover them later. Instead of pre-drilling the holes to the ends of the vertical pieces separately like I did last time, I drilled these whilst holding them tight against the corresponding horizontal piece to ensure that they fit together and remain square. So that the vertical pieces could be fixed from top and bottom, I used pocket holes on the top pieces. This provides more support and rigidity to position them square within the unit. I marked up only one of each type of board for holes and used it as a guide to drill holes in the repeated pieces. There were three repetitions for the central piece, the top, middle and bottom, and six repetitions, top, middle and bottom, of the two side units. We applied wood filler over the countersunk screws and then sanded the visible faces of the pieces down, starting at 120 grit and finishing with 180. We then wiped the pieces down with a damp cloth and applied a coat of water-based matte polyurethane varnish. We sanded lightly with 240 grit paper before applying two more coats generally and four more coats to the tops and door fronts. I also quickly glued up two pieces of plywood and cut a 15 degree chamfer around the perimeter to replace the old coffee table top, keeping the existing frame. I used standard kitchen cabinet style hinges for the side storage units. These were originally also going to have doorknobs to them which we later decided against as the doors could be opened easily using the top of the door and the setup looked sleeker overall without them.
I started by marking the positions of the holes on the doors. Drilling these required a 35mm Forstner bit or a hinge cutter. It's a good idea to mark out the holes using an awl and pre-drill with a much smaller bit to keep the hinge cutter on its course. I also test fit the hinges whilst drilling to make sure the fit was snug and to avoid drilling too deep. I used a piece of wood that I knew was square to square up the hinge and mark out the holes for the screws that will secure it to the door. I then marked out the positions of the holes for the hinges on the side units and attached them. The great thing about cabinet hinges is that they allow for adjustment of the doors after they are fitted to correct any alignment issues. After that we had a barbecue to make the most of the weather. I also made a footstool which doubles up as a storage box which I'll show in another video. 